I'm a racer and I know it. I'm a racer and I know it. Hello and welcome, racer fans, to another episode of This Week in Racer Softball. My name is James Lowry, joined by Coach Kara Amundsen. Coach, you had four games this weekend. They were against Western Kentucky, Northwestern State, and Mississippi State. How'd those all line up for you? Uh, we, we had a, a decent weekend. You know, it, there were some good and, and some bad things that came out of the weekend, but we did get our first win under our belt, which is always important. Um, coming out of that first weekend, being able to get a win in, in something that we can continue to build on is a good thing. Uh, we saw a lot of positives after our first weekend, um, but definitely a few things that we're, we're looking forward to, to working on in practice and improving for the next weekend. All right, and who stood out individually for you, Coach? Uh, we had a couple players that I think really stepped up. Uh, Shelby Miller, one of our freshmen, really impressed me this weekend. Um, you know, sometimes you're expecting freshmen to have a little bit of nerves going into the first collegiate weekend, uh, but she came out swinging. Her very first at bat was her first collegiate hit. Um, did a really solid job at third base for us, so I was pretty impressed with her. Um, senior Ellen Troop did an awesome job behind the plate, blocked a ton of balls for us that saved some runs from scoring, uh, and just called some really good games. Um, and junior uh, Leslie Bridges stepped up and, and had a, a really good weekend as well, along with uh, other people, but those probably are three that really would stand up in my mind. All right, Coach, now you've got a full solid week of practice here. We're going into your next tournament this coming weekend. It's down at Arkansas. In addition to Arkansas, you'll be going up against St. Louis and Louisiana Monroe. Yep. What are you looking for for your team this weekend? Uh, I think in the, these first preseason tournaments, we're always looking to compete, and I think that's kind of our number one thing. We're, we're embracing the word fearless this year as a, as a team theme, um, being fearless in everything we do. So I think our biggest goal of this weekend is just time to improve on some things that weren't so great last weekend, um, some of our approaches at the, at the plate, um, some sequences in our pitching, things like that, that we're just looking to, to improve a little bit this weekend um, and keep m moving forward in the right direction, moving towards conference play. I know, Coach, softball is a very team-oriented game. Mm -hmm. Who are you looking for on your team to step up and kind of lead this weekend? Uh, I think there's a, a few different people that we could ask to step up and lead. I think this weekend I'm really looking for our pitching staff to step up and, and, and throw the games that we know that they're capable of. Um, we had two losses this past weekend that I think they threw well enough for us to win the game, just couldn't get some, some hits. But for them to really dig in and, and know that they can own the mound out there is something that we're really looking forward for them to do this weekend. And there you have it, Racer fans. Racer softball back in action this weekend down in Arkansas. They'll be facing Arkansas, Louisiana, Monroe, and St. Louis. You can go on GoRacers.com to follow all the action. Until next time, Racer fans, I'm James Lowry, joined by Coach Kara Amundsen. Thanks for watching, and you have a great day. Well, there you have it, Racer fans. Racer softball starts its season this weekend in Starkville, Mississippi at the Bulldog Battle. You can catch all the action on GoRacers.com. Until next time, Racer fans, I'm James Lowry, joined by Coach Kerry Anderson. Thanks for watching, and you have a great day.